Okay, now it's time for saying LPF Vlog. We have okay, we have Senior Day, written by Eric Rogers, for time writer. Go up. Uh, Pretty good for the time round up for both clients. Um, so basically, they go to the you know retirement home place to do volunteer, and this is where we meet Russell's dad. Um, well, basically Russell's dad owner got kind of get too upset that why he's living there, and um, basically what happened is that after we meet up with him, we find out that Larry, Jerry, his dad's name Jerry. Um, Jerry freaking. Um, Jerry, he, um, his owner had going to the place, but Jerry's not allowed at the new, new place. And now Jerry needs a new place to stay, so he has to stay a front hole, which not please him. In the subplot, well, actually, in the subplot, Blythe is volunteering for a Vicky, she volunteered for one league like, a lot, and they're really good friends, and she's going to meet their, um, her um her granddaughter again that long than it's gay at the moment so I'll we'll get to that in in a bit but back to the main plot so the, so how's the go going um did the mix bag I suppose um the main plot stop me if you've heard of him before Vicky Ruckle meets with a blue dad who he dug up me up with that often the reason being that he in a gun work a lot of a lot <laughs> a lot. Wait. Okay. Um, but that means he's kind of, not a kind of jerk, but he's going all quickly. Sort of old guy, he just goes, oh, you look so, you're different, like, you like critic. I get him, I like being so up. But then when he has to move, move in, he's like even more to him. So not actually an asshole, but that kind of old guy. He drives up the wall, and then when then when he finds out about kidnapping out there, he goes, "Oh no, I'm gonna be all homeless and put on the scab routine." And then Russell, and, you know, our family going on, maybe you can get him out. And then they go for this big routine, and then he's talking think more and Russell. Then it turns out that get popular with the friend as well, and yeah, like I said. They can get crazy. I mean, guys will be like on the, the guest who thinks they're welcome. The dad being like this, it has been done a million times, and they go through that motion where they don't fork on out, but then he has to like apologize to him, and they both do the thing. And how to make, and again, they can make the bag on how to pull off because they can enough where they did rain. Jerry, Jerry just struggled a little bit too much, at least early on. Because we try to have an excuse for why he dug it in the middle part, because he moved to new planes. They never before. He doesn't have a rock that often, so we're gonna act a bit different and kind of. However, early on, Pete did doing just the older man thing, you know, mocking the computer, but he took a little bit too far. And and then, and, and again, the big problem with this one is that it's predictable that going with the guy, like it hits every beat you would expect the cat kind of story going. However, part of this kind of work because Jerry is kind of funny. You know, he, he, you know, he, he got some funny lines, and, and one great part of when they are mentioned one bit of slang, when they go, they're hard to get chalk in the English language or something like that. <laughs> You know, guys, and again, and the ending is sweet, and they do, they try, have, they have to apologize. They have Rocco Pine for him, you know, like, Rocco did have a, in the bit, and he explodes kind of only like after, like, one bit with being up with, fr with his friends, you know, and they, it's like a pit where Rocco Pepper declared him, like, a comedy after him, kind of one or two joke about Rocco that aren't even that funny. But that was really fun. But thankfully, that kind of bit is toned down, you know, him being popular with a friend, you know. So, I suppose with this plot, it's, it, I suppose it's mostly decent because it's kind of the ending. And being from Dad is cool and finding out about his owner. We have a name, but I forget the name. 
you know, being, you know, his, his dad, you know, and seeing him, and it's just cool to see more about, you know, their owner and the dad, you know, hopefully the others we get information on them. You know, we've seen a few of them before, especially during that song in Pet Scan. I think we, yeah, we did see Rockwell Bowler during that song, actually. We get a name hero. Um, we don't see them, but it's interesting. How would Rockwell Bowler feel about, but what is interesting about, it does have a different understanding with Jerry not being loud, but the understanding was on the owner part. Um, Jerry heard it correctly. Larry is just the one who's mistaken. So Jerry had every right to assume this because it was kind of true from his perspective. We had a good way to do it. So, we were with some things from a couple of weeks ago, I suppose. Um, it was the. Yeah, that's what we did, right? Um, so overall, the A-Pod is kind of a big bag, but it doesn't have a free ending, so I could I can forgive it, you know, even if it's cliche, and it's cool to see it. For B B-Pod, well, after the identity of a granddaughter who was incredibly nice to to a tour and going far to depending on to get a gift for um the volunteer person they hear much about. Like she mentioned that you mind me so much of I think I thought hmm, maybe a connection with the mom thing, but they feel a little picture where she really fudged, but even the fudging, you could tell right away who granddaughter was supposed to be. So I well I was gonna find oh yeah, it's this. And I'm going to reveal it. Yeah. It's the biscuit. Yeah, that's not a spoiler. You can see it coming a mile away. And I didn't want to talk about that. Like, I didn't like a lot about them in that post. And, you know, and how... Because they did show that side in the TV finale. And, you know, and, and they did a couple of short. They've been doing one of them. Have them, you know, hang out with Catherine Velvet. And being kind of nice to play it to them. To them and showing, you know, petting them at the end of that short. And now he has out to her grandma, or they are incredibly nice, and, and they don't go deep in like, in like that stuff, but in the end, they do, you know, they do put on a, a thing for a, a good grandmother thing about life stuff. But again, uh, the rain biscuit, again, their grandmother hearing that, now she needs to help have it to her actual mother. Um, if anything happened, I don't know, I could see Fisher dumping and going to eat with a bunch of people. Even on a good day. Um, <laughs> but, um, it's really interesting, and in the end, they do it, maybe they could be friends, you know, or whatever, but, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, interesting review. So, overall, is this okay, I'm going to propose, like, the, the B pod didn't really do anything that deep, but it was an interesting reveal and interesting information to find out. And A pod pretty predictable with a lot of motion and had some problems, but it was kind of interesting, kind of amusing, and it is sweet in the end. So, it's, um, I will probably still call it good because it's nothing that long of it, and the ending is nice, so it's alright. Uh, maybe the week is so far, but still not necessarily bad. So, there you go. I had quite a bit scared out of this one because of the MLP. Yeah. Next, next week, we have something called Lilith's Pet Shop of Horror. And I hope that isn't what I think it is, or I'll have a rant. But, um, should be good either way. So, I will... I will see you with my shitty phone then.